so I hope you've been enjoying the videos so far. Our emphasis today will be on freeing up those shoulder blades. So I've been speaking to a few people who have either previously suffered with a frozen shoulder, they feel maybe that their shoulders are a bit sticky, um, and there are some really great ways that you can get movement back into your shoulder blades and avoid pain or restriction of movement. So these are kind of like maintenance exercises. If you do actually have an injury or an ongoing problem, you should probably go get diagnosed, go see a physio and come and see me when you're at the post rehab stage. Anyway, onwards. If you have a pair of stretchy tights, go grab them if you don't have one of these resistance bands. This is a medium one and it's two meters long, which allows for more variety of movements. So if you're going to ever invest in one, make sure you get a two meter length one. I am five foot three on a good day and I find that I could just about manage with a meter and a half band, but if you're taller than me, you will want to get the longer one. Moving on. Let's gently find that band, and if you can manage it, all pair of tights, <laughs> be creative. A uh, pair of leggings will do as well, or if you need to, make sure you ask first. So we're going to wrap that band around here and then tie it in the knot. Good luck on doing the uh, resistance band afterwards, but you can usually figure it out. And first off, we're going to work on our focused breathing. And you can easily do this sitting on a chair, bench, the edge of the sofa. You don't need to sit with your legs crossed if that's uncomfortable for you. Try to lift out of your hips and not sink. So you're finding those neutral curves in the spine, making sure that the chin is not forwards. Yeah, these text neck habits are hard to get out of. Do your best. Broad collarbones, shoulders melting down the back, easy breaths. And the reason we've tied this around the ribcage is because it increases our body awareness. So we can tap into that proprioceptive feedback of what's going on. So you may find that if you take a deep breath in, you feel a sense of tension growing and then release when you let it go. So try and extend the length of your in and out breath. Some of this in the video before when we were aligned and relaxing in for three and out for five. So that's a handy little trick. Now, if you don't have a band to hand and you're somewhere where it's maybe not appropriate to be wrapping yourself up with bits and bobs, just hug your arms around your body here, relax your shoulders, and just breathing into your hands here will increase your body awareness. And encourage you to breathe into the sides here, the sides of the ribcage, as opposed to up here where we get into a bit of an anxious stress cycle of short breaths, which can increase anxiety. No good, I'm sure we'll agree. All right, so from here we'll have to undo our band. Good luck. And um, whilst you're undoing your band, just a, a, a gentle request. If you know of anyone who you think may benefit from these videos, uh, if you receive this by email, please forward it onto them. I'm absolutely happy for you to share. Just encourage them to sign up to join the, my email list as well. And then you can practice them together, or at least share your experiences. Because the more people moving mindfully, uh, I think hopefully the calmer and happier we will all be. That's the plan. Right, so I'm turning side so you can see. I've still got the band around the back of my shoulders. I'm holding it with both hands. And now you control the tension here. So you shouldn't be feeling this up in your upper trapezius between the shoulder and the ear. You should be relaxing the shoulders away from the ear. So if you need to hold the band a little looser, then do. You want to be able to feel it, yes, but not agonisingly so. And you'll feel how, oh, squeaky, feel how your shoulder blades are drawn together. If you go for straight arms here, like this, yeah. Your shoulder blades are drawn together and then you resist to pull them apart. So what we find a lot is um, some winging can happen, you have a lack of awareness of the rhomboids, you have one either side of the spine and it kind of hugs your shoulder blades to the back. Don't overdo this one if you're starting to feel undue tension here, just let it relax down. But if you 
practice this kind of movement with or without a band or a pair of tights. You can just sit here and increase your awareness and over time increase your range of motion. Now, if you're clicking, cracking, crunching your way through this, yes, go slower and go for less movement. Just go for easy gliding movement. You don't even need to have your hands or arms in front of you. You can do this. Try not to move the shoulders to the ears. You can do this here. It's much more subtle. So if you're in a work environment, uh, it's less noticeable, but it will still get you gently mobilising through those shapes. Anyone asks? I'm stretching out my back, it hurts. You get left alone after that. <laughs> because who wants someone else to be in pain? No one. You shouldn't have to justify yourself moving your own body throughout the day. Feel free to send them my way. <laughs> I'll educate them. Right, so that's one option. We have a four-point kneeling option, which for some people may increase their body awareness. If you have any wrist issues, this might not be the one for you, but we can modify just about any exercise. So my regular clients know this. There's always a version that you can do. So for example, if your wrists are not good at the moment, you could find a low stool and place your forearms onto that and still get the same kind of movement effect. Or place the hands down and you can always be up on your fists here, which creates a nice straight line for the wrists and they tend to like it better. Now I'm wearing my um, baggy Christmas t-shirt today, but if I didn't, I'll tuck it in. You need to have your belly braced in towards the spine long curves in the back so we're not resisting away from the floor and we're not dipping somewhere in the middle find a length in the neck so you're looking straight down and again we've got this gliding motion together and apart and like before it shouldn't be agonizing there shouldn't be nerve pains going on here so if you are really suffering with this very small movement it might be time for you to go and get yourself a diagnosis and uh, a physio appointment in the meantime, go for small, controlled, easy gliding movements and don't expect it to be big at first because you are training your muscles. So um, just for a quick explanation, your shoulder blades live on your back. So imagine you were looking at my back here, shoulder blade one and two, the rhomboid would live there and there and strangely enough they're rhomboid shaped, spine down the middle. And all you're doing is this with your shoulder blades and they're curving around that rib cage. If they did not move, you would find, and people who have experienced frozen shoulder or shoulders will tell you that their movement of their arm is restricted because the shoulder blade is intrinsically linked into this. So if you could not move this shoulder blade here, you would find that your range of motion for this arm, yeah, when it freezes up, would be really small you would not get that full circle that is available to people with easy, happy gliding shoulder blades. So it's well worth doing this separation and gentle, gentle drawing together and the easy lift and lower. Elevation, depression. So I challenge you to move your shoulder blades in all directions, put your favorite bit of music on and do some really lovely, easy, gentle, funky movements really fun thing to do with your family with your kids pets love it they just think you're completely bonkers when you dance in front of them but do you know what i think it will release some tension put your favorite christmas song on feel free to uh, reply to this and let me know if you have a favorite song to boogie along to <laughs> and uh, and i'll i'll be very happy imagining moving these shoulder blades and making them all happy okay enjoy see you soon